Mr. Mr. Mike, Larry O'Brien, it's his sight. Hit that subscribe bell. Don't forget to like Detroit Piston. Piston Mike, you know what time it is. You here for the update. Piston Mike, keep you informed. Make sure your substrate. So you don't ever go without the info that you need. Let's see the pistons rise. To Detroit the top. Basketball! What's What's good, everybody? It's your boy Piston Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost anything. Not even a nickel or dime. Shout out to Alice for always keeping me updated. We're going to get into um, an interesting video, man. So, according to some um, NBA insider, um, I think he has some um, sources. And I think he is a believable source that one of the pit teams that reached out for the John Collins was the Pistons. Am I really shocked? No, because these are rumors that are starting. I heard before. Um, I think it was last year, the year before. Don't know if they have any truth to it, to be honest with you. They might be if that or so. But I still got a report on it. I would not be surprised. People was like, why? He's 25. He's only averaging 11 points a game. Eight rebounds, not even shooting. He's on. He's shooting less than twenty percent from three, and he's also making twenty three, twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. So that's what his contract is over the next four years. He will be a free agent in twenty twenty six. Um, he's twenty five. Um. Yeah, man, he's had a career down here, shooting 75% from free throw. I mean, free throw line, though. Uh, I shoot 45% from, uh, from the field, but he is a career three-point. Uh, shoots the bar at 36% from the three-pointer. And this could be a couple of things. You guys don't understand. Um, What DeJounte Murray there... Um, it really hurts him because him and Trey Young kind of need the ball to operate together. Um, and John Collins has been frustrated for a long, 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 long time um, with his role and think he could do more. Um, I like him. I like him. Um, now, in order for me to take him on, I would need me a great asset back. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I wouldn't mind doing a deal, though. And here's a couple of reasons why people people are tripping out. In the next two or three years, when his contract is ending, it's going to be more attractable. You're going to be able to flip him again. And this is why. In a couple of years, in about one or two, maybe even three years, the minimum contract for an NBA player is going to be like $15 million. That's going to be like the mid-level exception. It's going to be like $15 million. And at the highest, he's going to make $25 million. So, I mean, I can't really be mad at that. Um, Another reason is he's six foot nine. He can space the floor for the most part. Um, he's going to go inside. He's going to dunk it. And John Collins, next to... Uh, Next to Jalen Durham would be a nice duo. That that front court would be lethal, would be lethal and dangerous. You talking about that could be a, a dynamic duo duo out this world, bro. You kidding me? Having two athletic bigs, uh, who can block shots. You got one who can stretch the floor. You got both of them rebounding. We ain't gonna be getting killed on the boards no more. And we would not have people coming in the paint and scoring 60 plus in the paint. And that's facts, bro. That's the main thing we missing. So people looking like, what are we doing? I'm like, go do it. But I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna cost you. I, I need one or two first round picks to take on this contract. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because in case it don't work out, I just might have to get rid of them again. Or, I'm going to need DeAndre Hunter off of off you. Or, I'm going to need um, AJ Griffin up off you. Simple as that. I need one of those two up off you. 
if you want the contract that's more than likely going to have to get this done, it's going to have to be Boyan Madanovic, and it's probably going to have to be Sadiq Bey for John Collins. That That's the trade you're looking at. Or you're looking at um, salaries like Hamadou Diallo, Noel, and Alice Burks. That's what type of money we talking about. Them are the only two or three packages I could see. I mean, two packages I could see coming. But that's the only two packages the Pistons can really do for John Collins. There's nothing else unless they get a third team involved, you know. Um, with them packages, because we all know the Atlanta's Hawk has been interested in Boyan Bogdanovich. And you could do a Boyan Bogdanovich, you know what I'm saying? And John Collins almost made the same. You could really swap that for that, but you could throw in CD Bay. And maybe we get back AJ Griffin, we swap two forwards, and boom, um, Trey works. Trey works. Would I do it? What am I doing? To be honest with you, AJ Griffin, been average 10 points. He's been one of the better rookies. I didn't really like him coming out, Duke, but he proved me wrong. I'm not going to lie. He's been pretty solid. And he looked like he's going to be a really good defender, solid athleticism can shoot threes, can do whatever. So, hey, man. Look like you can play more of a role, be uh, more of a better role than Sadiq Bay, and be more consistent. Or, if you want to, if the pitcher want to get crazy enough, we could take a stab at Jalen Johnson. So, another dude play. So, I mean... We'll see what happens. Um, I'm not opposed to it. I like it. I'd be willing to do it. Uh, but you, you're you going to have to come off one of them young players for me to take on this contract. Or you're going to have to give me a first-round pick, man. That's just simply how it's going because I'm not going to lie. He, I think he's career averaging 16 points. I remember one year he averaged 19 to 20. I'm going to need him to average about 19 to 20 if he come on this team. But then again, you're talking about Kane and Ivy, so he might be playing the exact same role, or he might have a little bit more opportunity. But he's more on our timeline. He's younger. His contract ain't too crazy. I've seen way crazy on contracts for way crazier people um, who can't who ain't having no production at all um, and make just as much money or even more money than John Collins. So, and that's a straight up fact. I don't think it's a bad deal. We will see. You guys let me know how you feel. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Safe holidays. It's your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything, not even a nickel or dime. Shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. If you want to donate to my channel, you ain't got to cash at the other side. Pistol Mike, Pistol underscore Mike for Instagram. Wham, bam. Thank you, man. I'm out, man. Peace. <laughs>